Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and this micro nugget is focused on test driven development. Probably one of the hardest of all of the agile scrum development techniques to implement, but probably one of the most powerful of all of the agile scrum techniques to implement. So I would encourage you to give test driven development a consideration. The reason that test-driven development is really one of the hardest of the techniques to implement is test-driven development turns conventional thinking on its head. Conventionally, we write our code to suit the requirements, and then we test that our code works. Test-driven development takes a totally different approach to development. The first thing we do in test-driven development is we write the test case first. The business requirement is to allow me to create a new customer record. So the first thing we do is we write the test case using our automated testing tool, scripting language to say, how am I going to validate that a customer record is created? We write the test case first. And then only after we have written all of the test cases to support to validate the requirements that are written in our user story, do we write the code? And the key is we write the minimum code required to pass the test. Totally different paradigm, totally different approach to IT development. We've always written our code to suit the requirements, and then we've always tested the code. And the issues with that traditional approach is we write the code to satisfy the requirements, and typically our code ends up satisfying far more than the requirements because our developers like to embellish, our developers like to add additional functionality, our developers write, like to write cool, interesting code, and it doesn't always do the minimal job of satisfying the requirements. And then when we start testing, we're testing that the code the developer wrote works which may or may not even come close to validating that the code satisfies the requirements. So let's turn it all on the head. Let's write the test cases first. This assumes we have an automated testing tool. We script our test cases first. Now we're ensuring that the code that's written 100%, assuming our test cases are written well, but 100% satisfies the business requirement. We're doing exactly what the business wants, and then we're writing only the code that's gonna allow the test case to pass. So this is going to take away some of that creative freedom that our developers have. It's not necessarily a bad thing because our developers were writing the wrong code. Now we can encourage our developers, we can challenge our developers, we can make our developers excited about writing the minimally compliant code that's gonna allow the test case to pass. And we're gonna write better code and we're gonna write less code and our project is gonna deliver more effectively. There is no more work associated with test-driven development. In, in the old days, we wrote the code and then we wrote the test cases. All we're doing it is doing it in the opposite order. There is no more work. And that's one of the big reasons I wanted to focus on this particular scenario. And as self-evident as it may sound, a lot of people first say, no, test-driven development isn't work. I have all of that work up front to write all of these test cases. That's extra work. That's non-value-add work. That's, that's incremental work that this test-driven development thing wants. No, it's not. All we're doing is reversing the order. So if I haven't already convinced you to give test-driven development a try, let me try a little bit more. Test-driven development is going to create better code. It's going to create better verifiable code. We're writing better code because we're only writing the right code. And the developer can be challenged to write the very best minimally compliant code possible. And we're absolutely ensuring that we have 100% automated test coverage. So we have total confidence that our code has been tested. As a result, we have the most complete and most comprehensive test package possible. 
And that is an incredible thing to have a complete 100% test package coverage that we can run through our automated engine. And evidence has shown that organizations that successfully implement test-driven development reduce the number of defects when it hits the testing stage anywhere from 40% in a very mature shop to 100%, 100% improvement in the, the, in the number of defects found, i.e. 100% reduction in the number of defects found. Pretty compelling reasons to have a look at to give test-driven development a try. A totally radical approach to software development where we write the test case first and then we write the code to pass the test case. This concludes our discussion on test-driven development. I hope this has been informative for you, and thank you very much for viewing.